My name is Paul Levinson and I want to say a big hello to all of my Polish readers of the new Polish edition, the Polish translation of New New Media. You know, my 1997 book, The Soft Edge, A Natural History and Future of the Information Revolution, was published worldwide in English, but the first translation into any other language was in Polish. So it's only fitting that my latest book, New New Media, first published in English in 2009, now has its first translation in Polish. The book, I think, deals with the most important development in the history of media and communication after the invention of the alphabet. That's how important I think New New Media are. What do I mean by new, new media? Well, we've all heard of new media, the web, Amazon, iTunes. They give us a cornucopia of information, but they, the producers, the creators of the information, are not us. They are not you and me. And that means that when you log on to Amazon, when you download a tune from iTunes, it may be wonderful, and there are obviously many wonderful songs and great books that you can get from iTunes and Amazon, but you have not created any of them. Now compare that to what happens on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, on your blog. In all of those cases, you may be reading material that other people put up on YouTube. You can certainly see videos that other people put up on YouTube. But there's an additional, I think, crucial advantage, and that is that you can create a video and put that video up there on YouTube, and that video is there along with everyone else's video. So in the world of music, you can see a video by Paul McCartney. You can also see a video by Justin Bieber. Not that I'm a Justin Bieber fan, but... The point is, Justin Bieber became famous because of his YouTube videos, his YouTube performances. And in principle, anyone can put something up on YouTube. Anyone can tweet. Anyone can have a Facebook page. Another common denominator of all of these new, new media is that they cost nothing. That's very important, especially in today's world where many countries are in very difficult economic times. Not that iTunes or Amazon are especially expensive, but every dollar adds up. In contrast, it costs you nothing to get anyone else's video on YouTube to read other people's tweets. The result of all this, I think, is very profound politically and socially. We are emerging from a world in which the only information you could receive was information that had passed through gatekeepers. So if you were to read the Encyclopedia Britannica, you would be reading information in an encyclopedia that experts had deemed worthy of your reading. If you were to read the New York Times, they say it's all the news that's fit to print. That's a little bit of an exaggeration. The truth about the New York Times is it gives you all the news that the editors of the New York Times deemed fit to print. Not all the news. All the news that passed editorial muster. If you read something on someone's blog online, and there are a myriad of blogs, one thing that all those blogs have is that no editorial board had to decide whether that information was worthy of you seeing it. If you look at Wikipedia, everything that's on Wikipedia is written by the readers who instantly can become writers and editors. That's the crux of new new media and why I think the revolution is so profound. The human species, planet Earth, needs all the help it can get. For too long, too many minds, too many people were kept out of 
the knowledge system. But through new, new media, through the systems you'll be reading about in my book, for the first time now in human history, in principle, everyone, including you, my readers, in addition to someone like me who's an author, everyone can get their voices, get their ideas, get their images out there to the world. This is the coming of age of what Marshall McLuhan talked about way back in the 1960s, in which he talked about the global village. Back then it was a metaphor. You and I, through new, new media, are making it a reality. So I hope you enjoy the book, and I hope after reading the book, you go out and do things in this world. Make your mark on the world. Make your mark on the cosmos. Be part of history. Create the future.